Hello guys, welcome to this video. This video is specialized for those who are studying for the CFA exam part one, corporate finance. And it tackles the question of how can I calculate NPV or, or discounted payback, payback period on Texas Instrument PA2 Plus Professional. And I'm gonna be showing you guys also how you can calculate them on Excel. And then we're gonna compare both results. So let's do that together. First of all, I'm gonna start with the Excel. I have prepared this sheet that shows the time, the cash flow, the cumulative cash flow, discounted cash flow, and the cumulative discounted cash flow. So as a start, we know that NPV can be calculated on Excel. So basically it's NPV. We put the rate and then we select the cash flows that are positive. And then we add the cash flow zero, which should not be included in the formula. And we set this answer as a number. We can have a few decimals. So basically, the NPV is 25.5. As for the IRR, it's also a simple formula. So it's IRR. We set the values. And the answer is 47%. As for the payback period and the discounted payback period, we can calculate that manually on Excel by conducting the following table. So as you guys know, the payback period has a formula, which is the number of year of the last negative cumulative cash flow plus the absolute value of the last negative cumulative cash flow of the same year that I've picked divided by the cash flow of the year after or the year following. Thus, let's do that manual. We start by the cash flows, calculating the cumulative cash flow. So basically, this is this one plus this one. We apply the formula all over. And now we can calculate the payback period. So let's apply the formula. It's the number of year of the last cumulative cash flow. So the last cumulative cash flow is negative 15. So what's the number of year? It's one, year one, plus the absolute value of that cumulative cash flow divided by the cash flow of the year after. So basically it's 1.75 years. So it takes me 1.75 years for me to pay back the investment that I've put. But have in mind that this does not take into consideration the time value of money. To do that, we have to calculate what we call the discounted payback period. So let's do that. First of all, we have to discount the cash flows. You know, time zero, there's no Discounting for this cash flow, let's do that for year one. So basically every year divided by the discount rate to the power of that year, we do that. Now we calculate the cumulative the discounted cash flow. We apply the same formula and we have the following results. Now to calculate the discounted payback period, we use the same formula. It's the year with the last cumulative cash flow. What's the number of that year? It's one plus the absolute value of the cumulative cash flow of that year divided by the cash flow of the year after. So it's 1.96. This is how we can calculate the NPV, IRR, payback period, and discounted payback period on Excel. Now let's move on to Texas BA2 Plus Professional. So guys, it is now time to work on the calculator. Please turn on your calculator. And before you do that, you need to be aware that you need to have the professional version of the Texas Instrument, the A2 Plus, to be able to calculate the payback period and the discounted payback period. If you don't have the professional version, then you have to do it manually. Thus, turn on your calculator and make sure to clear the data on the general screen. So second clear and then press cash flow which is the option that we're going to be using, and press second clear again to clear all the data that have been stored. Now we start the MPV calculation. So as we said before, press cash flow, clear the data, and now you have to insert the cash flows. Cash flow zero will pop up. You need to press plus minus 25, then enter, then down arrow once. Cash flow one will appear, press 10, then enter, then down arrow twice. Keep on doing that up until you reach cash flow four, where you will press 20, then enter, and then we stop. Then 
We know that all the cash flows have been inputted in the calculator. Now we need to calculate our ratios. To do that, you press CPT, then NPV. The calculator will ask for I, which is the discount rate. Please pay attention to avoid putting a percentage. Just put a number, a whole number. So press 10, then enter. Then down arrow once, the calculator will show NPV, which means that you want now to calculate NPV. You press CPT to confirm that, and you're going to have your NPV ready, which should be the same answer as the one we got on Excel. Now we move on to calculating NFV, PB, and discounted payback. So after calculating NPV, we have to do the following. We press the down arrow. The calculator will show NFV. Then we press CPT. Down arrow again. The calculator will show payback period. We press CPT, and we're going to have the same answer on Excel. And the same goes for the discounted payback period, where we're going to press the down arrow once, and the discounted payback period will show up. We press CPT, and we're going to have the same answer as the one we got on Excel. And again, another reminder, you're not going to be able to calculate payback or discounted payback period if you don't have the professional version of the Texas BA2 Plus instrument. Finally, we're going to calculate the IRR. So after we have inserted the cash flows, we can calculate the IRR without having to calculate the payback period, the MPV, or the discounted payback period. So you can input the cash flows after you are done. You simply press CPT, then IRR. The calculator will ask you, do you want to calculate IRR? You press CPT again, and you're going to get the same answer that we have received on Excel. So if we compare both answers, guys, you're going to see that the, both, both methodologies should yield the same answers. But of course, if you are a student sitting for the CFA level one exam, you're better off using the calculator because you're not even allowed to have any Excel uh, tool or any computer or any instrument other than your calculator inside the class. So basically, uh, you're better off learning how to calculate MPV, IRR, payback period, and discounted payback period on your Texas BA to plus professional instrument. Thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any question, drop it down in the comments or drop me an email. If not, I hope that you will hit that like and subscribe button to stay notified of the future videos coming soon. Thank you guys.